Another feature that helps dramatically reduce time in flight planning is our Victor Airway planning. If you were to push insert again into our flight plan, you'll notice that our new window has a couple of different options. We can either hold at the Manchester VOR, we can insert another waypoint, or we can pick up an airway that intersects that VOR or nav aid. So in this example, let's select Victor 141. Once we select what Victor route we want to be on, you'll notice that we'll get a list of exit points. We can scroll through this list of exit points to find which one we want to terminate our Victor airway on. So we'll select the Burlington VOR in this example. And now we've entered in a Victor airway consisting of roughly five to seven waypoints in a matter of seconds, whereas opposed to a Garmin 430 or 530 would have taken about a minute or so. Another example of how the IFD 440 and 540 give you a level of situational awareness is in this flight plan preview mode. In this mode, we can see that Victor 141 that we had selected previously as the entire route, so we can confirm that's the Victor airway that we want to fly to our destination. Once we press enter and see that list of exit points once again, we can actually watch the flight plan being built out all along our route. Just another level of confirming that that's the right route we want. So now that the in route segment of our flight plan is complete, if we press insert once again and select waypoint, Geofill will automatically nominate the closest airport to the last nav aid that we put into our flight plan. So if we press enter, our flight plan is now complete. 